Has this ever happened to you during morning devotions? You open up to the Old Testament and... Yeah, the Old Testament records some shocking stories. But does that mean that the Old Testament always approved of what took place within those stories? For example, there's a strange story of Sodom and Gomorrah. Before those cities were destroyed, God sent some angels in male human form. No, they didn't have halos and wings. Sent them to rescue Lot and his family. But while the angels were in Lot's home, it became angels in male human form. No, they didn't have halos and wings. <sighs> Lot and his family. And while in Lot's home, it became surrounded by men of the area demanding Lot to hand over his guests so that they could be gang raped. But that's not the strangest part of the story because Lot then went out and said, men, don't do such a horrible thing. Here, take my daughters instead. Well, fortunately for the daughters, the angels did their supernatural ninja thing and uh, led Lot and his family to safety. And there's a similar story also in the book of Judges where a Levite and his concubine were traveling. They stayed overnight at a man's house and it became surrounded as well by various men of the area demanding that the Levite be handed over to them to be gang raped. And just like before, the host said, men, don't do such a horrible thing. Here, have my daughter instead. Well, fortunately for the daughter, but unfortunately for the concubine, the Levite handed his concubine over to them and she was gang raped all night and died because of it. So just because the Old Testament records those stories, does it actually mean it approves what the two fathers and the Levite did? Well, obviously not. What the Bible describes versus what it prescribes are two separate and completely different things. And we need to keep that in mind whenever we read the Bible, especially very strange stories in the Old Testament. So, sorry gents, if you're ever over at my house and become surrounded by rednecks of the area demanding that I hand you over to them, well, don't let the door hit you on the way out. Because my daughters are staying inside with me. Now, could you do me a favor? I do all of this for free at One Minute Preacher, and therefore I don't have huge financial backing to go for massive paid advertising on YouTube and Facebook. I'm really dependent upon word of mouth. So if you could tell others about the One Minute Preacher this Sunday at church, or at your Bible study, at youth group, wherever, that would be greatly appreciated. And if you could also like and share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and like and follow my Facebook page, that would also be greatly appreciated. Thanks so much. And I'll see you next Thursday.